On the Days Veil, vale, look at a scenario in which America forms an empire. And the first thing they decide to do is invade Canada. They want to invade a frozen tundra, I guess. And now for the invasion. They just want the Arctic. And well, quickly they cross the border. With them quickly moving in. And quickly taking every city in like a day. And well, at this point... They're sweeping across Canada. And while Canada at this point probably just gives up. And while with them giving up, they're now part of the U.S. And well, let's see what happens in the legally annexes Greenland. But who's going to stop them? So they do it anyways. And now to invade the Caribbean. Nope, they're going to invade Mexico first. Because the rest of the countries, let's be honest, they'll just walk in and eat them. Literally. So quickly they cross the border. They want a bigger country, I guess. But then again, more land is a good thing. And while well, they move in. With all their neighbors having no chance. Good thing we got rid of NATO. And now they're just free to do whatever. With Mexico just surrendering at this point. And well, the U.S. just is like, yeah, time to annex you. This is the biggest the U.S. has been, probably. And well, they're now ready to invade the Caribbean. This is a good idea. Invade all the Caribbean nations. Then if you want, you can take Venezuela. Over. With America having nothing to stop them in this one. Except they get pushed back. No, I'm kidding. And, well, they annex it all. So now, let's see what they do next. Or declared on. Kinda weird to have El Salvador and Honduras working together. But that's besides the point. It doesn't make sense, though. But does anything make sense in Empire videos? It's not really realistic. They're not really the most realistic idea. And while well, they start moving in, and everything's So they decide to invade Venezuela, right after they annexed all of Central America. Because they get thirsty, they need to invade Venezuela. Because Venezuela is where they can get the drink they need. And while well, they quickly... They quickly start invading the country with one landing ground. One landing ground here. And then they open another front here. And then more fronts open. As this becomes one big front, Venezuela surrenders. Let's see what they annex off Venezuela. May two thirds, which is all the northern part of the country. And well, let's invade, they say. And well, they start their invasion. Colombia has no chance. Well, considering everyone else had no chance. Brazil might have a chance. But everybody else doesn't really. Russia could have a chance against America. No, I'm kidding. France would. Britain would. And well, they decide to annex part of the country. Bogota gets to be free, I think, unless I have it in the wrong location in my mind. I think it's south of there. So, well, America is now a transcontinental country with two continents under their control. Well, actually, three. Maybe four. Because Guam would be Asia and. Oh. And, well, Hawaii is Oceania. Wait, that means they are in more continents than I'm saying. So maybe they're really already that. It made no difference. The only difference is they're now in South America. Well, as you can see, this is a massive empire. Probably the strongest country in the world still. Probably like number one twice. And well, that's all for today's video. Please like, subscribe, and comment while map are out. And on daily subscribe. Bye, guys.